Hi guys, it's me, Hassel, and welcome uh, to Pokemon. Well, not the new Pokemon, but the trailers. You know, the, the three, or um, technically four, four Nintendo posted in this one week alone? I haven't watched them yet, as you might have guessed. guessed blah, 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 my, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I will, I, will watch, I will watch them all in a row. But there's one little thing I want to uh, address first. Don't mind me. Ah! Oh, get my fat ass here. Don't mind me getting modest in, in the corner. I'm having an, an subathon on the Splatoon release this Friday, 2 p.m. EST, on my Twitch. Feel free to, to come, say hello. Play Splatoon with me if we can um, match up somehow, and um, yeah, I hope I hope I, I hope I see some of you there. There's also a reason why I'm doing this, not only because of Splatoon, but but some other reasons, which I, I will tell when <laughs> when it's time. Okay, but enough of this. You're not here for this. Wah. We're here for this. Exactly for this. The official Pokemon channel. See? Actual four, four trailers. And without further ado, let's go. Full screen, of course. Ah, yeah, that's the one with the. The pre evolution of the legendary is shown. Yeah, the little. Little bike lizards. What's his name? Cyclizar. Ooh. Shed tail. Okay, that's new. It's like substitute. Ooh. Oh. That's cool. Mirror her. Copies an oppo opponent's stat increase. What? Ah, that's a crystallized bullshit. What typing will it be? It's water! You make it a water type? That's clever. Steam engine? Ooh. Loaded dice. Make most strike move more likely to hit more times. What? No, my biggest fear. Seriously. <laughs> I was always dreaded. With the multi, multi hits and I thought, no, 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 not more, not more. <gasps> Ghost! I, I really love the the, the... the crown looks like the old, old um, ghost sprite from Pokemon Red and Blue, which is just awesome. <laughs> okay, so she... Okay, free pre-orders. Cannot, cannot wait. We can't get this through regular gameplay noise. Ah, shit! I need. I guess I need to pre-order this as well. Not only Splatoon. Fuck! But I, I'm. I like it. I like it. The new Pokemon, nice. New abilities, very nice. And there's a terrestrial, terrestrialized, terrestrialized. In action with a with a typing change. I really like it. I really dig it. It's really cool. I've traveled across the land collecting and Oh, I didn't expect it actual voice acting. Wow. I wanted to find out more about these strange markings and observe the creature who draws them. It's called Grafii. Grafii. So I ventured deep into the forest in search of some existing markings. I heard there's a chance that a Grafii will come out oh. where a pattern has already been drawn. When I finally found this cluster of markings, it was the perfect place to set up my cameras. I use a camera that works great in low light. Even oh, that, that's dark, cool. It picks up the colors on the trees beautifully. Right, intro over. Let's get to some footage, shall we? So, oh, here. A scatterbug comes into frame. Oh. You see, I was going to say, I can't know this Pokemon. Scent coming from the marking. This pattern also acts as a trap for other Pokemon. Look, we caught a bit of its eye. And there's its tail. 
Here it is, our Rafai. It's eating berries in front of the camera. Ooh. And we've caught it making a mark. Amazing. Look how focused it is. And the colors of the pattern matches the berries it's eaten. We can clearly see that the color Graffi paints with depends on the Pokemon's diet. Oh, that's interesting. Here, it's marking over the top of the stripy pattern that was drawn before. It's claiming territory over another Graffi. Ah, here's where it was startled, which made it stop and disappear. Ah, shit. So frustrating. I couldn't see it anywhere, but it triggered the motion sensor light. Huh? And lo and behold, my backup camera caught our Graffi out in the open. So incredible. What the fuck? Okay, no, no, I... <laughs> I... need a new camera, though. <laughs> <laughs> this... Pokemon looks interesting. Oh, the, yeah, Bird, keep, Bird Keeper Toby. Are they related? Maybe. <laughs> we don't know. Okay, th th this kind of trailer trailers are really cool. I really dig that. Grafai. <laughs> AI, AI. Okay. That's, that's cool. That's cool. I wish more of the Pokemon trailers would be like this. They did this with a Sword and Shield as well. Okay, but... Uh, what was it? 24 hours stream where some Pokemon would sometimes move from left to right. And then there was the Galarian Ponita was revealed, which is super cool. But Grafaya does have another trailer. Like... Cling! Another short trailer. Oh, it's actually shown in game that it's marking. Oh, the fire poison normal. That's an interesting typing. Look at this little critter. Ah, okay, yeah, that's something. Ah, that's it. Ah, oh. yeah, this is something. People were once again uh, very vocal since, uh, yeah, <sighs> the battle animations are back to yeah. We don't, we aren't moving from from our our position. No, we we don't need to run over and actually hit the Pokemon. No, we stay over here, make animation, and magically the opponent is hit. Mm. Ah, uh, we had so high hopes. We had high hopes for you. Ah, uh, too bad, too bad. It will sell well anyways. And they know that. As long as the story is okay, I don't mind. But now, I think it's the longest trailer. Three minutes something, which is just one hour from wrong one hour ago. Let's take a look. It's about the journey, the treasure. It's a, it's a treasure hunt after all. I definitely have to look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa! I already see new Pokemon. Ah, oh, that's a map feature. You can set destinations. What the fuck is this Pokemon? It's a land crab with grass on it. Yo, what? Grunts? Team Star? Okay, okay, okay. We, end <laughs> we finally have a rival team. Team Star. Ah! Yo, I knew it! Hello! Shit, I, mi I missed her name. Mela. You look hot! In more than one way, wow. I, kn I knew that this car is something. Yo, what's this Pokemon's name? We, we, we need to look... We need to look at the, um, the page. 
Give us a name! That's oh, actually you're kind kind big, wow. Uh. Okay, this is kinda big, holy shit! Cloth! That's its name, Cloth? Stone Cliff Titan? Wait, 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 I have to digest this after it's done. Say what? I oh, yeah, the three actual paths. Okay, this is Victory Road. Gita. Nemona, we, we know already? Yeah, okay. Okay, we have the... Wait, gym tests? Oh. Oh, hello. Brassius. You look like a fate character, this one without eyebrows. <laughs> and this hairstyle. Look at the textures on the Sudowoodoo! The texture work! Damn! Go where you want. Yeah, that's. that's oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's somewhere a Pokemon hidden. 100%. Oh? Wait, what? Yo, what the fuck? You look neat. Wow. With an, the, uh, like knights. Particle effects of the wazoo. Okay, there's a, there's now one Pokemon. I yeah, there's there it is. And there's someone on Discord or already said it. They look like from Mega Man Zero, and I really like that. I really like that. <sighs> okay, may, may, maybe the the Scarlet one looks. Uh, both both look great. The violent one, though! Ah! Okay, I have to digest this... This new trailer, give me a second. But, 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 but. Let's take it. Um... Half the speed... Okay, we have slow poke and slow bro. The treasure is, is a huge part of the... Nar Naran Naranja Academy School Year. Okay, that's the, the school name. I was like, what's this name? But yeah, I, I forgot about that already. That's the, the elephant, which was sh shown in the um, Pokemon Direct already in the background. Now fully confirmed. We are more just make, make we are more just making our own adventures. Yeah, it's choose your own adventure. Yeah, the little guy. There, there, they are already seen. And just to see what experiences Perdia got to offer. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we. Um, it's set to north. We can rotate. Zoom in and out. That's prob probably the, po the Pokedex here. The weather... Nice, rotate map, okay, okay. Uh, that's, pr that's probably a Pokemon Center. These are Marts, Pokemon Marts, in inside the city. Oh, that's a this looks interesting. Huh. I, I, li I like the, the map's design. It's, it's, it's simple but, but effective. You, you know what you're looking at. Okay, now comes the rivals. The right uh, not... Face off against rebe rebellious students. Starfall Street. Huh, okay. I knew this. there was something up. It, it was I either a gym or... Well, the, ri the rival team. We're Team Star Kid. We're burned too bright to even look at look at directly. But you knew that, right? <laughs> ah! 
Yeah, they're, they're, they're students after all, not something like Team Skull or whatever. The school's troubles, troublemakers, Team Star. I, I would like them if the 3D models actually had the, had the goggles on. Because it looks way better <laughs> than the actual art style on the eyes. But that's just me. And someone jumped, jumped up kid has wanders and thinks he can raid our base. Ooh. We are ba raiding their base. Okay, that's, that's what it is. Oh, they actually have the goggles on. That's good. Oh, the, that's in, that's interesting. There was a note. This is this is sweat or a broken ha blue heart. I can't tell really. Wait, the, these are three three Pokemon. We have two. What is this battle format? What? It's not really against wild Pokemon, isn't it? But I knew at the at the first trailer that this car. Me is has something to do with with the with the evil team or whatever. Okay, now now it makes sense. Here's the S for this the star shape and the S in the logo. It makes sense. And of course, bright colors, speakers everywhere, lights, loud, rebellious. I knew it. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Is this? No, not yet, not yet. What is this? That's an eye. That's an eye. That's an eyeball. Um, is this an entire face? Is this then in Rotom or something in, inside the car? Or something different? What if if wait 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 what if theory time we have bikes They have a car Does this mean something? I'm j I'm just talking out of the wazoo, but Does it mean something? I'm speculating right now crazy dudes But this looks like a f this is f this is a face for me. You know this if, if you look at the car, the, the the lights and the grill and whatnot, that it looks ki kind of like a face. Okay, it would be actually this, but this is a face for me where the engine is and whatnot. It looks wild as shit and kind of off. So okay, it's it's move it's moving. Nice ass. Prepare to get messed up. I like her attitude. She will get a lot of fan art. I bet she literally got already fan art. I bet. Artists like that are fast. Yo! I, I like her. I like her. All fire and flames. Cap. But it's the English in Camerupt, or was it a German name? I, I can't, I can't remember. That's actually. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. These were moving. Give me. Wait, give me a second. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. It's it's just just okay. They're just bumping out because of the base. Okay, but this this is a face for me. You can say what you want. Let's have it quarter speed. Yeah, they come in and, in and out here as well. This face is doing nothing, sadly. But yeah, you, you look badass. 
I like you. Uh, the, the, there's a symbol, th symbol of the school. Black and red and white and fiery hot. Hedgehogs also have this, this hair like like the, um, the fire starter. What's this? Did I forget? Oh, oh! Ah, cliffhanger. Hate it. Okay, seek out the legendary Herba, Myst Herba Mystica. Okay, the Path of Legends. Oh, the sandwich looks good. Just need more, needs more colors. Path of the Legends. Okay. Then other classmen, gifted cook. I I like I like this 2D art way more than this 3D model, but that's the side. I like him because he can cook. I like him because he can look he can cook. That's a plus for me. Arvin. Me and her are gonna be too busy visiting the la layers of Titans and enabling their Herba Mystica. Though it's an actual plant, because herb and nabbing their herba mystica is it? Okay, oh, oh. What's, what does nabbing mean? Is it, is it um, just stealing? I think? Okay. <sighs> oh, yeah. They look so weird! But I love them still! The pattern on, on, on the back is interesting. Oh, they can move their entire eyeballs or something. Wah! So, so, blah. The stony cliff titan cloth. That, mm, that's, that's, okay, that, that thing's just stone cloth and tidy. No cloth had gotten any business being that big. <laughs> that thing is definitely big. Look, look, look at the size. Okay, the the middle one is the um, well, the, the classic road with the gyms apparently. Vic Victory Road. Touch chairwoman. She's a chairwoman of the, of the Pokemon League organization that runs these gyms. Interesting. We oh, we have some Gal Galarian Galarian Pokemon here. Ooh. Something from a few generations. That's nice. <laughs> Pokemon League chairman Gita. I I hope that's how, how I pronounce her name. Show through the robe, Nemona. Okay, Nemona. Can see the gym. How's it going? Only mean. Uh, yeah, the badges, Pokemon League. That, that's that's a classic, classic road. Okay, seek out the Sun Flora and Artisan. Gym tests. Okay, they they bring this kind of back from Gen Eight then. Okay, ba basically you have to get have to find them all in the restricted area. Okay. That's cool. This area looks great, by the way. A little bit... It needs grass. Seriously. Just, it needs grass. God, we, we are so spoiled from Pokemon Arceus. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, now, now we have this good dude. dude. Look at him! He look he definitely 100% looks like this creepy dude from Fate. Seriously, with his hair and the non-eyebrows and bleh. He do does have spiky hair. Look look at this guys. Oh god, he, he has spikes everywhere. Grass yes, grass type he's a grass type gym leader, okay. Huh. Really dig it. He looks creepy, but I dig it. <laughs> he 
You got a small elf? Small elf is good. Small elf, small elf is life. Quaxley. Yeah, yeah, wing attack, super effective. I can. Yeah, yeah look, look at the textures on the pseudo voodoo. It's a stone type after all, and. Woo. Okay. If they improved something, then it's definitely the texture work on the Pokemon themselves and the clo clothes and whatnot. Still more than enough to desire, but we have something. We have something after all. At least this. Look how happy he is! Let me touch this work up slightly. I will call it true truly voodoo? What? Oh now I get it. Because of the terrestrial whatever. It's now a grass type. That's why true. Oh, <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Nice touch. Trailblaze. Uh, go where you want. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Ooh, look at this environment. Oh, I actually wanted to see the picture before that, but never mind. Okay, what do you have here? There's an Eevee, um, Tropius, Tropius, whatever. Oh, these are very common. They, they, they and you can actually. Wait, are these real? Or are these just fake? I can't. I can tell. Okay, okay, this... What's this? Oh, that's that's a magic arp. Okay. <laughs> In the shoe shop. Um, oh, what's this? Um, I, I, I forgot its name. The, the, the rival Pokemon... Oh, you, you can't see it because of me. Give me a second. No. The, the rival Pokemon to Survivor. I forgot its name, sorry. And, and Gudra's also back! Yeah! I love Gudra. Gudra's great. A Scyther. Okay. We can fly, we can swim. Yeah, the, those. Okay, this is interesting because he actually went to the Pokemon and attacked it directly. Maybe some attacks are like this, and the other ones are from the distance? Mm. Well, we will see when, it's, when it comes out in, what, two, oh, two months and a few days. Oh, look at the little guy. Okay, what, what do we have here? The koala's back! For Alola! The koala's back! And the Talon Flame! Sweet! Taran. No, not Taranatar. Um. The other one. I only remember its German name. Butalanda. <laughs> ah! Okay, what do we have here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, they, this looks like. Mega Man Zero bullshit. And I'm all for it, seriously. Both of them, wow. Okay. I like the violet one more. I'm still sticking with Scarlet, but I like the violet one more, seriously. <laughs> it looks so cool. I'm firing my laser! Oh, and it does. Oh, the one has cannons, the other one has swords. Ah! ah ha, ha. No! Don't do this to me! Ah, <laughs> oh, game, don't do this to me. I like swords. 
swords over guns, cannons, whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, here's the school. All the different NPCs. Someone new? Nope, no nothing new, okay. Terrestrializing. All the part particle effects. Someone new hidden in inside these particle effects. I don't even know what this last Pokemon was. <laughs> Which got hit by the flames. Yeah, November 18th. Okay, what the something else? No, okay. I think... I think we're done. Except... Give, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, the page must have been updated by now. Okay, perfect. Okay, the page has been updated. Uh, discovery of the Pokemon. See them all. Okay, we have Armor Rogue and Zero Ledge. Okay, 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 okay. Armor Rogue, moving counter, armor rogue, Pokemon Scout. The Fire Warrior Pokemon. Fire Psychic? That's a, that's a while back since we last had one of those. Ability f Flash Fire. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, its armor is a source of its psychic power. Armor, armor Rogue set of armor belongs to a distinguished warrior and is source of the energy used for psychic type moves. It also uses the psychic capabilities of its armor to control the fire energy within its body and unleash attacks. Okay! It belongs to a human, apparently? <laughs> That's what I get from it? Huh. It lives by the principles of fair fight. Ooh. <laughs> Look at the, the pose. Strike the pose. Nice. Amarok's belief is in fair fight and will challenge an opponent head on, no matter how much stronger the opponent is. It specialized in using its sturdy armor to bolster its defenses and take down enemies with its high firepower. Ooh. Okay. I dig it. A move Ar Armorok can learn. Armor cannon. Okay, that's its signature move. Armor can also fire a special move which, in which Amarok mo moves both its paw drums to its hands and puts them arms together to, to, to form a cannon. And I'm gonna shoot, shoot its own armor out as blazing projectiles. This is, this is one of the more powerful moves that Amarok can learn, but it lowers, lowers the defense and special defense stats in exchange for that power. <gasps> Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Can you read it? No, okay. Okay. I like it though. Zero Ledge. Fire Blades Pokemon. Oh, and Purple Flames. <laughs> I'm getting KOF vibes, seriously. Oh, Psy Fire Ghost. Okay, that's a, more, a little bit more common, but okay. Has also the ability to flash fire. Its flaming great sword absorbs absorb life energy. Zero led, led dons an old set of armor steeped in grudges and wields blades made of fire and ghost energy. In battle, these blades transform into great swords to increase Zero Ledge's power. Cuts from the from these great swords leave wounds from which life energy will flow. Okay, you won't bleed your life energy with just pfft, squirt out or whatever. Okay, fine. Whatever. Uh, Zero Ledge prefers close combat, cl close quarter combat, and isn't above using tactics such as sneak attacks and surprise attacks to win in, in a battle. And uses its quick movements to capitalize on its, on its opponent's blind spots, then 
closes the distance to slash its opponent with, a, with its large blades. Oh, I like this one way more. <laughs> okay, Bitter Blade. Bitter Blade is a fire type physical move that gathers the lingering regrets of <laughs> lingering regrets of the fallen into Cerulean's Cerule Ledge's swords. Allowing to the fo focus that bitterness into a slashing attack. What the hell, Pokemon? The swords then absorb life energy from wounds they made. And the user's HP is restored. What? Restored by, by up to half the damage taken by the target. Oh, it got way better. Better, uh, better attack. I was almost a bitter attack, but. Okay, it's, it's pretty bitter. Jesus! That's. Oh, that's mean. The other one has a strong attack but lowers its defense and special effects. And you you have a cl have a physical whatever attack which heals you! Half the damage you, you inflict to your opponent! Oh that's oh that sucks. <laughs> okay, Cyclozar. The mount Pokemon. Dragon normal. Shed skin. Okay, okay, these these weren't bikes. This is actually how, how you ride it. Oh, a Pokemon that lives with humans. The Pokemon has lived in, in many households in Padilla in the Padilla region since ancient times. It has mild disposition. People riding cyclists are are a very common sight. It appears cyclists are don't mind being ridden because the warmth of the rider helps stave off the cold. I mean, it's a lizard. Cold blooded. Makes sense. It's cool. Symbiotic relationships. I like it. A body optimized for running. Cyclers can sprint up to 70 miles per hour while carrying a human. This thing is fucking fast. Extremely hard. It's extremely hard hat and thick. Light? Tail are not only useful for maintaining balance and absorbing shots while sprinting, they also provide effective ways to attack during battles. New move, Shed Tail. The user creates a substitute for itself, using its own HP before switching places with par party Pokemon in waiting. So it... Okay, it creates a sub substitute and... Then it switches with the next Pokemon in line? Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is how, this is what, what I get from it, okay? Uh, Fido... Okay, Rafaya. It's a moody Pokemon with a fast, fastidious disposition. It doesn't form packs, preferring a, a roam, a, to roam alone. It's constantly caught up in territorial struggles with other Pokemon. Toxic monkey Pokemon. <laughs> I wonder if it has any evolution. Would be interesting. Poison normal, on burn, and poison touch. Oh, it could also. It could. I could. Maybe I could maybe see a fairy type, but then, but then again, we we are then back in Galar. Ah. Uh, Poison normal is interesting, I guess. Uh, so there are poison traps around its territory. Grafaya is nocturnal. Once the sun sets, it licks its hands and fingers to cover them in poison, then uses them to draw pattern on the trees in its territory. The poisonous saliva it uses to paint paralyzes back Pokemon, which are drawn to the saliva's sweet fragrant scent. When drawn, when dawn draws near, Grafaya goes to collect any Incapitated inca prey. Ooh, sinister. When the fire sends danger, as poisonous saliva becomes even more toxic. Okay. This Pokemon specializes in using this poisonous saliva, which changes color depending on what the Pokemon eats. Oh, are there variants? Are there, like we. 
What's the, po the, the Pokemon Vividon? Whatever, the, the, the butterfly Pokemon which had six million different patterns. What if you, you get a whole Grafia team and everyone has a, has a different saliva color? That would be interesting. Makes it a little bit more unique if you want some with one distinct saliva color. Uh, Dragon Force by spitting at them by slashing at them after, after Koten is clawed with the saliva. When Grafia senses danger, it's po the poison rapidly becomes concentrated and resulting in a potent toxin. That once absorbed will immobil immobilize a victim for three whole days. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Okay. Interesting. Cloth. Okay, this is this is all something. Okay, its underbelly is kind of yellow beige. In the trailer, it looks looked like gray or. It, or like metal. It's a pure rock type though. The ambush Pokemon. Okay. M maybe it was, it was just the big one. Mm. The Pokemon powerful claws. Thank you. Thank you for this. Ink. <laughs> Anger shell and shell armor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He is. Maybe it was, maybe it's just the weird lighting. Spinning eyes that leave no blind spots. Ah, can move its entire eyeballs. Ah. Love can rotate its protruding eyeballs to see everything around it, eliminating all blind spots. It lashes upside down and onto cliffs to ambush its prey from above. However, Cloth eventually gets dizzy from the blood rushing to its head, so it can't stay upside down for too long. Okay, that's, that's kind of cute. Uh, claws that are both strong and dexterous. Claws, claws ca can hold onto things very tightly, not letting prey go once within its grasp. It uses one claw to hold its opponent in place, but another one to break its guard and hit it where it hurts. Ow. Even if cl claws... Claw loses a, a claw in battle or elsewhere and will grow back after a while. Okay! In certain parts of the Pardia region, cl cloth claws are considered a variable cooking ingredient. I can imagine! <laughs> Eating Pokemon! It is straight up confirmed. Okay, ability ang no, new ability Anger Shell. Cloth's anger shell ability is making its first appearance in the Pokemon series. When Cloth's HP drops to half or less, the Pokemon gets angry. The low, the lowers this lowers its defense and special defense stats, but boosts its attack, special attack, and speed. What? Damn, son. Okay, this is interesting. I, I wonder how practical this is. I mean, it's still, still more practical than, well, when, when your HP goes more than half, you... <laughs> the Pokemon will switch out with another Pokemon automatically, and you have no saying in this. Okay, new Pokemon, this is okay. That. I heard something. Uh... Oh, new art! Yo! Sick! Uh, we have a has a special independent studio project. The theme of this assignment is a treasure hunt. Exploring the world, seek out your very own adventure. Three stories will be woven. I hope I don't pronounce this right. Woven into your adventure by traveling the sprawling Padilla region. Along Victory Road, we will go to gyms in different locations in order to achieve champion rank. On the path of legends, you can, you can join Arvin and search for rare ingredients. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and in Starfall Street, you will challenge Team Star, a group of delinqu delinquents causing trouble for the school. These stories are set in an open world, so where you go is all up to you. A world te teeming with Pokemon people to meet is waiting for you. 
traverse the Pardia region with wherever your hearts desire. I wonder how that's actually that possible, especially since I think it's already confirmed that the the uh, gyms won't scale down on your level. That's at least what I've heard. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Okay, uh, yeah. There are eight Pokemon gyms in different locations throughout Pardia, all managed by the Pokemon League. If a trainer makes their way to the gyms, defeat all of the Pokemon leaders and then pass the ch champion ass assessment to the Pokemon League headquarters, they can earn the co coveted champion rank. After accepting the Mona's suggestion to become champion, ranked trainer, you will you too will be able to visit the eight Pokemon gyms scattered across the region. Okay. So this is the classic Pokemon stuff. We all know and kind of still laugh. <laughs> for whatever reason. In a Pokemon gym you must first... Blah, 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 concerns really okay. The con contents of gym tests are unique to each gym. By through them you might come to learn more about the customs and unique features of each city and town as well as what, what kind of people in the gym leaders are. Okay, personality. This is something we need more in this game. We need, we need more characters with actual good personality. And not an entire army of hops. Oh, still, you, you look way better in 2D than you do in 3D. Especially the nose. I, I don't know what's up with the nose. But whatever. Your hair reminds me of an ultra beast. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Is it Doc? Is this Miss Gita? It's, it's, she's female. Chairwoman of the Pokemon League. Okay, yeah. Female. Okay. I, I wasn't sure, but it was. It's, she's confirmed female. Okay, good to know. Gita is a chairwoman of the Pokemon League which operates Padilla's Pokemon Gyms. Among the region's champions. Plural? Champions? She, she reigns supreme as the most skilled trainer of all. Though mild mannered, Gita still has a commanding presence, as it said that anyone who calls himself a Pokemon trainer looks up to her. Okay. It appears that she, she is looking for exceptional young talents capable of conquering the Pokemon League. Okay, I uh, in Gen 8. As soon as I saw Chairman Rose, I was like, he's the villain. I call it day one. In her case, I'm not too sure. In her case, I'm really not sure. But because I don't think they will do the same thing twice in a row. That both times the Chairman is the, the bad guy, the main, ba main baddie. I don't think they will do this. I hope they won't do this. Okay, Brassius, gym leader of the Ar Artisan Gym. Oh, that's already in a town name. Brassius is gym leader of Ar Artisan, a town that's that's alive with flowers and art. I like it already. He specializes in using grass type Pokemon and is known as the Verdant Ver Vertuso. I have butchered this. Probably very badly. Team leader Brassius treats Pokemon battles as work of art. Okay. And is always in search for artistic quality, using his gym tests to help judge a trainer's aesthetic sensibilities. Okay. His piece his piece de les, les, les stars. Surrendering Sonflora is a, is a statue installation depicting adorable Sonflora with somber expressions. This is what, is, what these Sonflora are surrounding to is, is a topic of debate among cool, I, among those guys. <laughs> okay. Search for the Herba Mystica and the Path of the Legend. I don't know, this will probably be my favorite part of the game? Because it's food related, and I like it. Uh, Arvin's research into healthy recipes for Pokemon had led him to seek out rare ingredients called Herba Mystica. Ah, okay, 
the, the um, ingredients according to this. Okay. Which are said to immediately restore health once eaten. Herba mystica, extremely rare herbs. You can only be found in Paldea. They are gr guarded by Titan Pokemon, which are bigger and stronger than ordinary Pokemon. Making these rare herbs even more dif difficult to obtain. What's more, a number of these Titan Pokemon have already been sighted in the region. Since Arvin isn't good at Pokemon battles, he'll, he'll be asking you to ha have an out and will even offer to treat you to some of his handmade dishes. Yes! Give me all the food. And uh, if the two of you succeed to obtaining these rare herbs, drive back through. Oh, yeah, drive back tough opponents and gather the herb of Mystica together with Arvin. Mm. Your words of you help me out with this. Perfect. Okay, uh, that's, that's at the very beginning. Claw of the Stone Cliff Titan. Yeah. It's, okay. Then it's just the shading. This this looks grey as fuck for me, so yeah. Okay, this might also be interesting. Oh, they have more whole army of those. Okay, here! Okay! There's a tongue! This freaking thing is alive! Face up against the school's troublemakers in Starfall Street. I freaking knew it. The thing is alive. Team Star was formed by the school's most rebellious student and is made up of several squads. Each squad is led by its own boss, each with their own, ba e their own base scattered across the Perdea region. These class-cutting delinquents cause trouble for all those around them, giving the academy student and teachers a hard time by disturbing the peace and using pushy re recruitment tactics. March up to the bases and, fa and face off against the tr tr troublemaking team star. So she isn't the boss? It's just one of the bosses? Ooh. Interesting. Make way into team star's bases to take down the bosses. When you go to take in each squad space, Team Star's m many grunts will send out a relentless barrage of Pokémon to get in your way. By defeating enough of the grunts Pokémon within a given time limit, you will be able to challenge the boss to a battle. Oh, okay, that's what that's what I saw earlier. Okay, which confused me a little bit. Engage in auto battles and convenient feature is new to this title to overcome the unending barrage of Team Star grunts in the Pokémon. Auto battles? Okay. Note this. Uh, note the uniforms worn by the members of Team Star would differ depending on the version of the game play. Obviously, obviously, yes. Yeah, this was this was okay. Take on bosses r riding the Star -mo Mobiles. Once you overcome the wave of Star Guns. So the boss will appear in a custom car called the Star Mo Mo Starmobile. Since it's during your Pokemon battles with these bosses, the Starmobile itself will, will get in your way. Take down each squad spot by defeating the party Pokemon and the Starmobiles. Yo! Torkoal! That's, that's, that's its name. There it is. Torkoal. Okay, sh she looks great. It might be my inner inner edge lord, but she looks great. I love her. Give her to me. Now. <laughs> now whatever. Uh, Mana is the boss of Team Star's Fire Crew. Okay, so Fire Crew. So yeah. Elements that literally li like another batch of gym leaders. I dig it! I dig it! I like it! Uh, the fire crew, the Shedder, Shedar, Shedar. I have no idea. Uh, squad, as the te team's best all-rounder, Mela fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Though her methods and heavy, heavy uh, though her methods are heavy-handed, she leaves a forceful and gruff impression. But her steadfast devotion to completing anything she puts in her mind. 
has earned her trust of her teammates. Uniforms, uh, yeah, yeah, clap. Okay, th here's the orange, I think that's the grapes version, okay. Oh yeah, and, and the collar. Orange, purple. Sweet! Anything new here? Tell your Pokemon to go to an adventure. You can have one Pokemon out and walking with you in the Padilla regions, great adventure, uh, regions, great outdoors. When you have a Pokemon exploring with you in the feed, you can use the let's go use the let's go feature to send the Pokemon off in a direction you indicate. The Pokemon you send out independently picks up items in an area and even has auto battles with nearby Pokemon. What? Yo, what? What are auto battles? Auto battles are a new way of battling that can be activated by using the let's go feature. Doing so will send our Pokemon to battle wild Pokemon without needing orders from its trainer. Your Pokemon can be sent into an auto battle against any wild Pokemon you see in the field. And it can even fight Pokemon to engage in auto battles on its own. Okay. They're even streamlining grinding. Even further. <laughs> oh god. When your Pokemon is out and engaging in Autobots, you can do what you want. Stay by its side, to watch over it, or try looking for items nearby. But if by defeating wild Pokemon Autobots, your Pokemon can also earn items and experience points. Just what I said. Master using, master using this new feature. Master using this new feature to explore every nook and cranny. The vast Padir region with your Pokemon. I think that's it. Your Pokemon. Um. Quick look. This was the okay. Release date. Okay! I think I think we're done. I think it's done, wow. Oh god, this video is getting long and long. <laughs> Anyways, I think yeah. it's a little bit bigger. Blop, 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 blop. Hi. There is Le Me. <laughs> Okay, wow. Okay, th there are way more information than I expected. I thought we uh, were just watching the few trailers, talking, looking a little bit, and that's it. But the web page, holy fuck, gives us so much more information. This is insane. Anyways, uh, thank you everybody for watching. And once again, I think that's here. Yeah, I am having my very first subathon over at twitch.com at 2 p.m. EST on Friday, the 9th of September. Playing Splatoon 3. There's sadly no 3 here somewhere, but that's where I, that's what it be, will be. Don't, don't mind me get, getting squished in the corner. <laughs> Anyways. Once again, thank you everybody for watching, hopefully see you next time and over on Twitch, and bye bye!